in this yeah. current zoning? Under these types of definition, yes. I'd say those uses would be allowed uses. Okay. Uh, incubator units and metal fabrication, yes. Thank you. Okay. I've got a couple questions, but I'll wait till after uh, public comment. Anybody else? Okay. Um, seeing none, uh, we'll open up the public hearing. Those that would like to comment. Uh, if you could, please state your name and address for the record. Good evening, Mayor and Council Members. I'm Marcia Birch, and I'm here on behalf of uh, Linda and Dan Ketchum. Uh, they are neighbors adjacent to the project. Um, I first, I, I won't belabor this, but I want to acknowledge that staff did a lot of work on the revisions to the negative declaration and provided a lot of really good information that I think um, was helpful to understanding uh, what's going on. Um, and I, I will um, keep my comments uh, short if possible, and I'd, I'd be happy to answer any questions as well about any of the comments that we've submitted. Um, it's difficult. There's a lot of communication oftentimes between, you know, the applicant and the staff and what have you, um, not so much with the neighbors who are raising their concerns. Um, so I appreciate the time to, to have the interaction. Um, the city, uh, if the city wants to use a negative declaration um, and there is the potential, and we believe there is the potential for some significant environmental effects, um, the trouble with these kinds of uh, categories is that they're extraordinarily broad. I mean, we don't know what a food uh, processing, what kind of food products. Is it a meat packing plant? I mean, I don't know how many of you would want to live right next door to a meat packing plant. Um, Without seeing the individual development proposals, um, what, what they're asking now is that the text amendment allow for these categories to come in later without any further environmental review. Um, so there are, in my view, potential environmental impacts that are going to go unreviewed by the city. Um, and I, I don't think that there's, it, it doesn't hurt anything uh, to require a conditional use permit for all of these c categories that are being added because a negative declaration is saying there isn't any evidence at all that there may be a significant impact. It's an extraordinary lo extraordinarily low threshold. And the reason that is is because this is the end, right? This is the end of the line. The negative declaration says we're not going to review any more um, of, of what the environmental impacts might, might be. The neighbors would like for the city to maintain the ability to review these development proposals on an individual basis as they come in. Um, metal fabrication can include not just the shaping, but also the painting. Um, and some of those pieces are painted in a very similar uh, way to automobiles. And you know, there are lots of, you know, the Air Pollution Control District gets involved in that. Some of these uses can be really, really intense. Um, and so without having a, a really clear uh, list of what would be involved, um, what we're asking is that the city just maintain the ability to review the development applications as they come in. Um, and and I, I, I think I mentioned in my comment, um, I, I don't understand uh, what the, the factual basis is for saying, well, food products is probably, you know, need to have a conditional use permit, but cosmetics, yeah, you do. Um, I, I, don't, I don't see the substantial evidence to support what, in my view, appears to be an arbitrary division of these categories. Um, all, all of that being said, all we're asking is that the conditional use permit requirement apply to all of the new uses. You know, the EIR, the original EIR didn't contemplate any of these. Um, and to say that light industrial is very, very similar to food products and um, metal fabrication, well, it depends, right? It depends on what that individual development proposal is asking for. And if you have the ability to look at it, then you can impose conditions or, or mitigation measures as necessary to protect the environment and the community. And that's what we're asking. Um, and I don't know if you have any uh, questions for me. Not this time. All right. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you, Chris. Uh, anybody else? 